And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Turbo Thralls for Rank Up Sunday. This is where we play some of the decks that did really well over the past week or so. And this deck was awesome the first time that we played it. We played a lot of close games. We got some good fortune with um, having some really timely avalanches and blighter ravines and stuff like that. Um, but we had some awesome games and we ended up going 5-0 last time we played it. Definitely recommend checking out that video. Um, if you are if you didn't see it before, just three days ago, Turbo Thralls, um, you know, most viewed video in a while. So let's bring it back. Let's try it again. The um, plan of the deck is to get Frozen Thrall in play and get this countdown started and get Frost Guard Thralls out as soon as possible. So we're, this is the most important card for us to see in our opener is Frozen Thrall to get that started. And then we're going to have lots of um, ways to advance the countdowns. We've got these Clockwork Curators with the two. we got Time in the Bottles advancing too. And then uh, even Preservationist. This card really overperformed for us advancing three. That's a big number. And then also being a nice 4-4 blocker for us. Even Draglorns, whenever they just get to four or less, advance them to zero. So if we play a Draklorn on, on round five, make a, a Frozen Thrall from the Draklorn, it starts at eight. Next round, it goes to seven. We, we play a Preservationist, advance at three. Now it's at four. End of the round, the Draklorn pops it, and you suddenly have an 8-8, eight, eight, just like that. So great combination between those two. Um, and th then we also have uh, three copies of the Clock Hand at the top end. Also an 8-drop for Lissandra, which is really nice. And then it creates those two um, instant sentries that allow you to get some fro some more frozen th thralls popped. So um, pretty awesome little deck here. We just made one card change. We had three time in a bottle last time. We're going to make that two. And then we're also just going to put in one um, aspiring chronomancer just to get, give us another blocker on round two. Um, so that's just going to be the one little small change that we're going to make it one blocker to help out against aggro. All right, but let's uh, go ahead and try some Frozen Thralls in and try to get this countdown going. Get that countdown going real fast with Turbo Thralls. Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal can struggle against a bunch of 8-8s. We hope that they have a slow hand. And let's find our Frost Frozen Thralls. All right, got one. Um, the Chronomancer, I guess we keep... Not sure. I could see Mulligan getting the, the Chronomancer. Because the 2-3 doesn't really match up too well in this matchup. It, they have a lot of 3-3s three and 4-3s. We already have the 2-2. Two -two. Let's go with this. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. All right, I just want another um, frozen thrall. It can be undone. So ordinary. And that's what I mean about our two twos not really matching up very well. Next round, Draklorn will pop one. Why would they? What is this attack? Why are they throwing away a Ballistic Bot? Do they? What are they doing? <laughs> ballistic Bot is so good. Like, what are they doing? Best case scenario would have been me like passing and then they uh, play something and then I play Draklorn and then they don't have the ability to kill Draklorn anymore. But I, I was just worried that if I passed that they passed also.
We got two Ravnus locks out of their hand. Not bad. Ravnus locks an awesome card. So this is going to be the tough call. No, I guess we, we have to do the Preservationist on the Frozen Thrall. Like we, have, we have to do it on this one, on the five. Not this one, that's the one. So now Lissandra's level up and we'll be able to create a Watcher. And then I'll, I'll be able to cast the Watcher next round. So having that 4-4 die clears up room for another um, Frozen Thrall. Next round we'll have Clock Hand. They probably have another one of those, right? That probably wasn't like their only cooling strike and they just used it on a 2-2 that just didn't matter. Like a completely useless 2-2. They're probably not doing that, right? When I'm playing Lissandra. Yeah, they had to have another one. But that's alright. We'll have our Watcher attacking next round. I guess that's what I get for not trying to kill this uh, Ezreal, but I wouldn't have been able to kill with Siphoning Strikes, they would have responded with Guillotine. One shot, all skill. <laughs> so, can they kill me? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Down to three. Unfortunately, I really think I gotta play the Blighted Ravine before attacking. I think three is too risky. That was probably about the only way I lose was leveled up Ezreal right there. Because they had to do all the direct damage to me. And leveled up Ezreal is the card that can do direct damage. They have to have another Ezreal in hand, right? If they're if they were if they just played House Spider and that's it, that's gotta say, okay, I have another Ezreal in hand. So we're doing this so that they can't just like play another Ezreal and put a card back on top of their deck after I watch her attack. Alright, that'll do. 
So I was considering right there, I didn't immediately attack. I was considering using that, that uh, Clockwork Curator to push down the Blighted Ravine and kill two of their blockers. I was wondering if I should do that or not, but then I would take two damage. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Some Thresh Nessus. This is one where Avalanche could be really important. Okay. Hmm. So basically I just want like the the one drop in Avalanche. And unfortunately we didn't find either of those. Lissandra's a decent blocker. That's a really good hand. Attack for four on turn one. Turn two, have nine power. <laughs> like, those are ridiculous numbers. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So that'll happen sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Merciless Hunter. Awesome hand opponent. GG's. No. Play something else. Let me avalanche. Ugh, exact lethal. I guess, no, plus one lethal if I to come. Alright, great hand. Okay, so facing the same matchup, my opponent has the attack token on round one again. Um, so this can definitely be too slow, as we just saw, but hopefully not. Okay. Only attacking for one on round one instead of four, that's better. And Reaper has two health. I like seeing that. So I'd like to see a lot of Pakai Reapers. Don't want to see that card. up that plus ravine Hunt. fortunately this is focus speed not burst speed if this is burst speed I could advance this to in response and just kill that they don't get to draw that would have been sweet Thresh Nasus looked pretty good in these games. Pretty good. Doing this for the predict. Dracorn. Come, my warrior. 
Show me your worth. I live and die for you alone, my lady. I think I'm just going to entomb the Nasus. Yeah. And then I'll save Troll Chant. Um, I guess I could also just Siphoning Shrike now and kill Thrash. That also works. Two can play that game, the Siphoning Shrike game. Alright, that's fair. It's fair, I suppose. I mean, why do I not just attack with the 4-5 also? I guess I should, I should just be attacking with the 4-5. Like, why not? Alright, so how big is their Nasus? 7-7? Seven, seven. Cool. We can handle 7-7. Seven, seven. setting up for they have to be setting up for atrocity right you think clock hand should be a 5-8 Down to one. Just gotta hope they don't have a second atrocity. They're not even drawing, not even drawing for a second atrocity for the one one. Okay, GG's. There we go, got our revenge against Thresh Nasus. It kind of de depends on your play style as far as like, like which deck to climb with. Um, the top four decks that are like real popular, all very good. I would kind of go with the top five. Top five decks that are all really popular, really good, that a lot of people play um, in no particular order, but they're Aurelia Azir, Thresh Nasus, and then Shivana Dragons with like Zoe and Aurelian Soul, and Draven Ezreal, and Draven Jinx. And so like there's there's aggro, there's mid midrange, um, there's late game decks. That, like So those are like the five most popular things to, to play. We're gonna mulligan you two. Um, I I really like the show the Zoe Shivana list that we played earlier. That would be my recommendation as far as like if I would choose like a deck to to rank up with a lot. It'd probably be that because it's so good against aggro, um, but it is going to be a little bit worse against other Aurelian Soul decks. But I would guess I would probably recommend one of those. 
All right, so we're getting our frozen thrall started. The fresh frost guard. Well, it was fresh. We're getting that started. Um, I don't. I'm not too big of a fan of the Cythria Maiden deck, I and mean, that's what we're playing right now. So I'll probably lose to it because I said that. But I don't think it's amazing or anything. But it's it's an option. It is an option. Um, but I think it's gonna be less. It's gonna be less consistent. It's the kind of deck that's like really cool when it works, but it doesn't always work. But when it does work, it's memorable and exciting. So this could be bad because now I enabled, yeah, fight spells. So I, I basically blocked there to, to give me more room for more thralls. I'm more worried about another fight spell for this Inquisitor now. Like, that's why I blocked this for the room, but... You will do as I command. It could also be kind of bad for me. Because I need this Draklorn. What if I pass? Do they also pass? They probably also pass. Man, I hope they don't have a... F oh, wait, wait, wait. That, this is a 4-4 four four now. Right, because he got the plus one, plus one from the other attack. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I not serve any other, my lady. Do we get some 8-8s? Eight because if they do not have removal... We get two 8-8s next round. Okay, and I was going to say the round after that we could get two more 8-8s. But this will now be removal for the Draklorn. Maybe they'll kill Lissandra. That's too bad. Stinging cold. Overboard. Preservationist. Oh no! Ruination. I walked into them. I walked right into that. It's probably worth it to play Trundle. Over not playing Trundle. Yeah, I just walked into that ruination. I guess I skip. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. So this is where they can have, you know, this is where they're going to have Spectral Matron into Scythria if they have the best possible thing they can have. Hopefully not. Best possible thing they can have. In your boots. Hail to the king. Follow my lead. I'll take this one. You want All right, hoping the Watcher can take this, take this over. Because they did a great job against all those Frost Guard thralls I had. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. I 
thought there was no time. I probably should just avalanche before playing Watcher, actually. I should just avalanche here. Alright. Time in a bottle, bad. Okay. That'll do. So that, you know, I was gonna do that, I was gonna have the Ice Pillar. Uh, challenge, and then so they only have one blocker for my 8-8 eight, eight, and the 11, 11 17 and the 3-4, and then obviously you have the Watcher ability also, so we're threatening both their life total and their deck as well. Alright, so Thresh Nasus is back. It's the only deck that has defeated us. We're playing the rubber match. We're 1-1. One one. Seeing how game number... Three goes. Do I just keep all this? Preservarium on two, Avalanche on three, or if we don't need Avalanche, then Lissandra on three. Alright, so no, we mulligan you. But I think I keep the others. Right, Concerted Strike wouldn't have, wouldn't have worked. I was gonna I was going to open attack. I was playing a focus spell, so like I wasn't gonna lose priority, so uh, like, Watcher was going to be able to attack and get rid of the deck, even through, like, you know, Concerted Strike or anything else like that. Alright, we're going to save the spell mana because of Avalanche. That's not bad. No, I guess I'm just going to play Lissandra next round. Maybe I should still save spell mana for full channel Lissandra, but I think we're okay. This deck got some big upgrades. Gave them a bunch of three health things. an 8-8 for next round. I definitely wish I didn't keep the Preservarium in my opener because we found two others, including another one immediately. I think, probably like, I guess just for this matchup, for how they showed how aggressive they can be, I guess I should just be mulliganing Preservarium for this matchup. This is going to be close. I could see this going either way. Mmm. That is very bad. Now they have a great open attack. Well, no, no, because no, I get an 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. It's not a great open attack. I do get the 8-8. Eight, eight. Can't quite play that. You are nothing without me. I am everything Seven, either, either way. way. So much card draw. Yeah, so okay, so I was kind of quiet there. So I was considering, you know, so Avalanche, you know, of course, is a play here, but I was considering like playing Lissandra next round, going Preservationist on this Frozen Thrall, which would be the second um, one of these, which would make my Nexus tough. Yes, yeah, this was kind of in the considerations with for all that. Or can we have a tough Nexus? My best draw is the Frostbite spell. I have a... That's that's good to see no Nasus this round. So much card draw. 
Wait, this succumb to the cold? That's like my best draw. It's, it's really basically Nasus that I'm super scared of. And so that's why I want, want to draw a succumb to the cold, because Nasus atrocity. In particular, super scary. But maybe no Nasus. Okay, that's no Nasus. I'll just pass... Like, if I play Trundle, what's, like, the worst that can happen? Nothing that bad, right? Like, we're, we don't die if I play Trundle, and, yeah, I don't think we do. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. I cannot go! And I thought I was a troll. Just need to clear up board space. But maybe that helps that Nasus kill me. I guess they they can't they can't play Nasus and Atrocity next round. Both. So we should be just fine. So basically my plan is because my plan is like Ice Pillar and then Clock Hand and then make another 8-8 with Clock Hand. Um, and then Watcher. I guess at that point we'd put Watcher over a nice pillar or something. Yeah, so opponent helping us out with the, with some space. Opponent also like they had a bunch of one health things that we're gonna die to this ice shard we create. So I think that's what they're thinking. It's always cold in the Freljord. You're in my kingdom now. Alright, so the main question is, do we cast the Watcher and attack with Watcher also? Or do we just attack like this? I don't really know how they stay alive from this. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Ruination, but you never know. Like, how do they stay alive from this? I don't know. Okay, they don't. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Thresh Nasus to play Ruination. You never know, just random people. Some some person may just really like Ruination and they put a Ruination in their deck. Right, like, you, you never know. <laughs> you run Ruination in your deck? See, there you go. Random person may. So we ended in Diamond 2? Okay, cool. So we started today Diamond 4, 0 LP, and so we got through... Uh, all the way down. So we gained, let's see, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we we went up 10 spots. And t we played 20 games and went up, went up 10 spots. So there we go, 15 and 5. That's rank up Sunday. 15 and 5 record. Awesome. Um, and another really good showing for the Turbo Thralls. Worked out again. Um, so yeah, quite a good deck here. We we defeated Thresh Nasus twice. The only time, so we're nine and one now with this deck. Last time we went five zero. This time four one. Our only loss was that really crazy opening hand by the Thresh Nasus opponent. So as a game two, but we did face Thresh Nasus two other times, games three and four, and we made up for it. Or games three and five. Sorry, games three and five, and we made up for it. They didn't have like that super crazy hand like they had the first time. Um, so yeah, Turbo Thralls, really good, really good deck, good competitive deck, um, you know, with just getting some Thralls and getting the countdown and stuff. So if you want to play like the newest keyword, which I think advances the newest keyword, um, you know, if you want to play uh, some some of the brand new cards, you want to play some Time in the Bottle Preservationist, 
go for it. Preservationist is really kind of the card that makes this deck, I think. That's a that's a been a really big important part of this deck for sure. So super good deck here with the Turbo Thralls. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully you just enjoyed Rank Up Sunday today. We played four decks that did well with, for us on stream, ran them all back, all of them with winning records again. So if you want to rank up with decks that are not like the top five decks, how I've, I've talked about in this video, like how there's like the top five decks that everybody plays, your Thresh Nasus, your um, Shivana Dragons, Aurelia Azir, Draven, Jinx, Burn, and Draven, Ezreal. Those are like the five most popular decks. So if you want to play something else that's not those, maybe uh, try out one of these decks, you know, depending on your play style. Maybe you find something that you enjoy. All right, so that's going to be it here for Rank Up Sunday. Tomorrow, we're going to have Meme Tier Monday, and we're probably going to have Meme Tier Tuesday as well. So we're going to have eight Meme Tier decks for the next two days because I have a lot of Meme Tier donation decks to get to. Um, we got eight of them. Okay, actually, I have nine of them. <laughs> technically so we'll get through to through eight of them to the next two days so we'll we had our rank up day now we'll go have some fun and play some less serious decks that are doing some crazy combos and stuff so hopefully y'all watch those videos the next two days and enjoy those as well but until then that's it here for turbo thralls thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video